stretch at the end of the season. 320 plus point performances. Really a great supporting role for Kate Cunningham, who obviously has departed the program for the NBA. Had an administrative issue, so Azor is going to start this game with a technical free throw, a technical call on the Cowboys, so it's already 1 0 for the Mavericks. So you take on the board first, and now we'll tip it. And Cisse will jump it for the Cowboys. Oh, yeah! Federici Akabundo Akioku jumps for UTA. And we're underway here on the Maple at Gallagher Iba Arena. 83rd season on this hardwood. Mavericks in a man to man, and Javon Levi really pressed up on Avery Anderson. Penetration. Contested. Offensive board. And a put back for Cisse. And the Cowboys have the lead 2 to 1. Good position underneath the rim. See the starting lineups there. Levi is one assist shy of 600 for his college career. He's a grad transfer from UT Rio Grande Valley. A lot of new faces for the Mavericks this season with their new head coach. He's been with the program, though, for a long time. 12 seasons as an assistant. Around and out. Board for Isaac Likely. One of four returning starters for Coach Mike Boynt in his fifth season here in Stillwater. And Likely turns and delivers, and the Cowboys are up three. Got a good size advantage. Stayed under control. And that one will drop first field goal of the game for the Mavericks. And the lead for the Cowboys is one. Levi got around Avery Anderson, got in the lane and used the right hand. He's now 80 points shy of 1,000 points for his college career. Likely runs out of real estate, dishes it. Good athletic move and free throws coming up for Oklahoma State. Boy, quick, decisive move by Donovan Williams to get around his man. Nice ball handling, going behind the back and then going to that right hand. And challenged at the rim, K.O. picks up the foul. You ha you said his name. You got it out of the way. I'm just calling him K.O. K.O. for the rest of the night. So Donovan Williams will step to the free throw line for a pair. You know, the one thing is, if he makes that first one, Mike, the, the one thing, and very quickly off the bench for UTA. Patrick Wamba from the Congo, 6'7", redshirt sophomore, checks in, averaged just under seven points a game last season, and 4.7 boards. I was going to say, the way that... The Mavericks like to play that pressure man-to-man, -man, and they have KO on the back end to try to clean up anything that goes right to the rim. But they're pressed up so far, it's going to leave some driving lanes open for the Cowboys. KO puts it on the floor as it's stripped. Battle for the ball, jump ball call right in front of the Cowboy bench. Quick hands by Avery Anderson, but he couldn't clear it away from the defense. Well, you see Avery, first off, KO having problems handling it. Big man puts it on the floor. The little guys go right after it. So the Mavericks to inbound in front of the Cowboy bench into Levi. Anderson defending well. Levi tries to drop it off. It's out of bounds. It'll be Cowboy basketball. Well, that's tremendous defense by Avery Anderson. He pressured Levi. Wouldn't let him get to his right hand. Kept turning him back left. Very fundamental positioning that forced it. Jack Hoiberg, a grad transfer from Michigan State, has subbed in. And Big 12 fans certainly have heard the name Hoiberg before. Yes, yeah, Fred Hoiberg. Of course, a great player at Iowa State, coached there for a while, and was coaching at Nebraska. And actually, Tom Izzo put Jack 
in near the end of a game against Nebraska so that's father and son can share that moment. And the Cowboys turn it right back over. So they trade turnovers. 6-3 early. Ray Natali, Kelly Self, and Chance Moore tonight's officiating crew. Azor lightly guarding. Uses a screen to get close and has his shot. Partially blocked, and here come the Cowboys. Lightly. Whip it around into the corner. And the three is good for Anderson. He is off to a great start tonight, Mike, on both ends of the floor. Boy, and the pressure defensively is really getting the UTA. Rondell Walker stops it all. What a teamwork on the defensive end, and Rondell read that perfectly. And he came from the backside, and the Mavericks never saw it. Reverse layup short. Anderson pushing it up the floor. Reverse won't go, rebound UTA. Bizarre Rojas into the game. Cowboys off to a great start. Defense creating offense, John. Knocks it free, Roman hammers at home. Cowboys up eight early. Wamba, Wamba. Yes. Yep. Charge. And I didn't see who got it for a, who was there for OSU. Um, Couple that with the pandemic, and it took a toll on his mental health. He tells me that he was suffering from a depression, anxiety, and even sleep paralysis. And when that started happening, he said, hey, you know what? I am not okay, and I need to ask for some help. He got put in contact with a sports psychologist here at OSU, and ever since he started talking with him, it's been a 180 from a year ago. He said he's playing better, his mental health is better, his teammates respect him because of how open he's been about his struggles. He says, hey, you know what? Everyone's darkness is a different shade. So you never know what someone is going through. So he's open about his mental health, and he hopes other people will be as well, guys. Kale with a block, and then the offensive end, the double team, he kicks it outside. Thanks, Jessica. Hoiberg. Wing three off the front of the rim, no good. Wamba with a miss, but the Mavericks get an offensive rebound. It was one of those where the shot went up. Cowboys had the guys blocked out, but nobody went to go get the ball. Shot clock under five. They have to do something quick. Top of the circle three, no good. Rebound, Isaac Likely. trip in the lane. It'll be a foul on the Mavericks as Keelan Boone gets set to check in for Oklahoma State. That goes to Hoiberg, his first. You know, the last trip down, UTA went to a zone, 2-3 zone against the Cowboys. They picked it up pretty quickly and knew what to do with it. They got it to M.A. Moncrief near the free throw line, but then couldn't get anything out of it. Levi and Castro sub back in for UTA. Penetration by Moncrief, a little bit too strong. Offensive board. 
And the Cowboys will get another crack at it offensively. Moncrief sets the screen, shot up. And another offensive board, this time by Keelan Boone. Open three from the corner. No good. Castro with the board for the Mavericks. Well, it's great hustle by Keelan Boone. Something he was doing down the stretch last season. Just making plays in the offensive end to keep possessions alive. Rojas has it stripped. Cowboys keeping the foul near midcourt. Whistled on the Mavs. Uh, Levi's first, and there was Keelan Boone again, and following up the play, you know, if you find a way to always be around the ball, then you become very valuable, and if you mix that in with the way Keelan can shoot it from three, that makes him a really dangerous weapon for this team coming off the bench. Cowboys will inbound. Up 11 to 3 before the under 16 timeout. Cowboys on a 7-0 run. That still in progress long three he got it cowboy lead is double digits as keelan boone knocks down the triple sometimes you can just tell with guys how locked in they are from the time they get out on the floor uta trying to answer from long range no good You know who got that rebound? Keelan Boone. Made an immediate impact off the bench. Likely gets around Azor. Back outside. Three point shot, a little bit too strong, but another offensive rebound for the Cowboys. And again, Keelan Boone. Tremendous hustle. A couple of open looks from three-point land fell to go down for the Cowboys, but they lead by double digits. Right, Thompson may have rushed that just a hair. Stripped and out of bounds. Anderson back on for the Cowboys, along with Tyreek Smith, the transfer from Texas Tech. Uh, you're going to have to have somebody. Could be uh, Isaac likely comes off the floor. Walker comes out, too. First look at Tyreek Smith. Good size, good athlete, physical player. Mavericks nearly turn it over and finally do. Keelan Boone again. Memorial. Cowboys run is 13-0 and they lead it by 14, John. Patience going to be go out there and have fun and enjoy playing the game. And I think that's pretty pretty sound considering the news of the past week. And speaking of the rotation, how about Keelan Boone the last couple of minutes? Crazy. Six points, two made threes. He's got three offensive rebounds, four overall, and a steal in less than four minutes. Cowboys on a 13-0 run. Just one field goal thus far for the Mavericks. That's by Levi about six minutes and 45 seconds ago. Azor kicks it into the corner. Three-point shot won't go. What, a, what an athletic rebound. M.A. Moncrief didn't have good position, but he just pulled it away over the top. Three-pointer is good. And the Cowboys on a roll. 20 to 3 here in the first half. It's a good find by Moncrief, not trying to do too much. Nice move with the left hand inside for Shamar Wilson. Well, that is the big run, but the Cowboys still up 15. Anderson splits and kicks. Open three. That one won't go. It's the only thing he hasn't done, hadn't done until then, was a miss of three. Three from the wing. 
a miss. So one and done possession again for UTA. Floater will go. And he took a shot to the head. He's slow getting up. He's jogging down the floor now. I think Wilson caught him with an arm. Bank up and good for UTA. So a quick answer for the Mavericks. Ilame got that one. Two field goals in their last three possessions. from three. Well, they play that zone and you don't have much size on the top. He's just going to shoot it over you. Layup with the left hand will not go. Cowboys push it. Finger roll swatted. Offensive board and a putback. What quick to the ball, Bryce Thompson. K.O. Hoiberg back in. Well, there's the block on the interior, but Bryce Thompson, they, they coach the guys on the floor. If you're not the one taking the shot and you're close to it, assume where the miss is going to be, and he was in a perfect spot. Boy, a dominating performance thus far for Oklahoma State. Good feed there, layup short. There's not much explosion off the floor that time by Mwamba. Cowboys are five of eight from behind the arc here in the first half. Anderson just inside the three-point line, knocks that one down, and he's in double figures. I just left him alone. Can't leave him alone. I think they call this one on Cisse down low, battling for position with Kale. Walker back on along with Syracuse transfer Woody Newton for Oklahoma State. Castro checks out for the Mavericks. Newton, another long athletic player, good size. Not that big, but lanky. Oh. Stripped by Anderson. And a physical play underneath the rim. Foul called on Payo. And Anderson will go to the free throw line. Uh, you take a look. The extra hustle by Avery Anderson almost stole the inbounds or the, the pass from the baseline. Got the second steal and went to go ahead and challenge the big man. Relentless effort, Mike, I think is the best way to describe what OSU has done so far tonight. Anderson knocks down the first. Over the last nine minutes and 39 seconds, John, Cowboys on a 25 to four run. And they've made four of their last five from the field. The only miss was Keelan Boone's only miss on that last three point attempt. Avery's release looks good. You know, that's one thing that Mike Boynton had told us that Avery had been working on during the offseason is repetition with good mechanics on his shot. You know, he was a freshman and came in. It looked like he had a little bit too much of a pitch and would shoot it too flat, too hard a lot. and softened up over his time here at Stillwater. alley -oop, but nobody home for UTA. That was good recognition by Cissé to get back to the rim because they were trying to get the alley-oop dunk to KO. He was kind of tied up with Newton a little bit, and Cissé kind of went right to the rim, and there wasn't any room to make that work. KO, the former walk-on, heads to the bench. Rojas on the floor in his place. 
Rojas. Sickers down low. Jump step. The step instead, the officials call a foul on the Cowboys. Woody Newton picked it up. He was on the back side of things and tried to get the block. First free throw good, likely. We'll sub in for Avery Anderson, who put together a nice string of points there in the last couple of minutes for Oklahoma State. A couple of leaders on this team. I don't think there's any question. Isaac likely is the alpha dog for this team. But Avery Anderson has just blossomed into a really nice player. You know, and Coach Boynton will say it, his confidence comes from his work ethic. He knows he works hard, and that's what gives him the belief that he's going to do well out there on the floor. That's time tested. Corner three. Around and out. Offensive board, and the Cowboys get another crack. Wide open. A drive won't go. Mavericks defend that well and come away with the rebound. Azor. Short. That's good physical defense by Donovan Williams with the challenge without fouling. Williams having to readjust one of the straps on his knee brace, so he's kind of out of the play. Shot clock at 10 for the Cowboys. Under seven to go in the first And Musa with a stuff. I think they were thrown off by Isaac Likely losing his balance. Williams gets fouled going to the hoop. But the big fella with a big play inside, John. Now you see he loses his balance and the defense kind of relaxed and he had enough to get it to the big man. 33-8 Cowboys. Mike, it rubs off. You saw Woody Newton with an offensive board, but there you got Keelan with a great start. A well-deserved rest on the Cowboy bench, up 25 here in the first half, and more free throws coming up as Donovan Williams knocks down the first. Love the aggressiveness, Mike. They're out-rebounding UTA, 19-8, to 12-6 in points in the paint. Not just settling for threes, but they've made better than 50% so far. Right in front of us, off of the Mavericks, it'll be Cowboy basketball. Newton defending there. See, Woody Newton already understands this is what I'm going to have to do to get time. I'm going to have to make plays on the defensive end. Use my length and athleticism to my advantage on the defensive end. Of course, he came from the famed Jim Beheim 2-3 zone. Well, if they ever decide to play zone, the Cowboys can still have a little start. But they're so good to be able to switch everything defensively in their man-to-man. You'll see zone at some point. But uh, it won't be a predominant amount of time. So athletic. They can man up against most teams. You do want to keep teams off balance with a little bit of zone. I mean, but it is uh, right now it's the antithesis of what Jim Beheim does in Syracuse. Around and in for Musa. Well, that's that's good to see, Mike. There's one area that he needs to make some strides in. Out of you know other areas, he's still growing as a player, but the free throw shooting. You know, I watched him during the shoot around today. He leans a little bit too much. He's getting good knee bend though tonight. Those two look really nice. 
American Athletic Conference freshman of the year last year in Memphis. And because of the transfer portal, the Cowboys have four guys they expect to make impacts. And we visited with uh, UTA coach Greg Young about that very thing, the, how the transfer portal has changed the game and another game changer there on defense for the Cowboys. Moncrief, Keelan Boone, Avery Anderson back in along with Bryce Thompson for Oklahoma State. Well, this is a rim protector. This is what a rim protector looks like. The overplay on the pass, but Cisse is there, and Azor just kind of off balance tries to throw one up, and Cisse is going to eat that one up every time. Mavericks have gone nearly four minutes for four minutes plus without a field goal made. Bryce Thompson with the foul, battling for position down low. And that's, he's giving up a couple of inches and maybe a, oh, more than a few pounds. <laughs> Out to Levi. Good communication by the Cowboys defensively up top. Mavericks working around. Good possession there. No reward, however, on the three-point shot. Well, they're switching everything, Mike. There's just not much open space for UTA to operate at all. Likely turns it over. Wide open three, won't go. Moncrief with the rebound. Fast break finish. They just beat the Mavericks down the floor. UTA's got to wonder, what, what do we have to do to find any sort of footing in this game? Last year in Arlington, it was the Cowboys winning, but it was a seven-point game. Uh, it was a much different flow to the game last year. Cowboys didn't shoot free throws well either. Three is no good. That's one of the few open looks that Azor's had. Anderson kick into the corner. Mavs rebound the miss. Have a chance to run. But Avery Anderson holding his right hand as he got tangled up and fell. And shaking it off a little bit. Castro back on, along with Montez Young. Young, a freshman. Out of Waxahachie. Looks like UTA going to some full court kind of zone trap. They're going to try to turn the Cowboys over. Miss from three. Here come the Mavs. It's a better looking release from Bryce Thompson. Just a little bit too strong. Jump shot good for Levi. We shot that over Moncrief. Had to get a little extra arc on it. Levi with four points. He's only taking three shots. Rebound Castro. Castro, a guy that started with UTA, went to Blinn, then Houston Baptist, and now back with the Mavericks. Nice dish. That's Levi. So 600 assists for his career. The bucket good by Young. Shot clock at five. Anderson top of the circle. Won't go, and they're going to call an over the back on 
Keelan Boone. It has been all Cowboys here in the first half, up big on UTA on ESPN+. Plus. his career and he had absolutely no idea that that was the case he said that he feels blessed it's a huge accomplishment he credits the fact that he's been healthy the majority of his career and he credits his teammates he says you know i just want to help the guys out i want to help our guys score and it shows just how much of a teammate guy he is because he didn't even know that's that so he's a very unselfish player just wanting to help the guys out his family who's here in attendance his parents drove up from Columbia to watch him, and uh, they got to see that exciting moment in person, which has to be pretty great, guys. All right, thanks, Jessica. Of course, he is a godsend. Shahada Wells ran a lot of the point last year, had 21 in the meeting last year, as did Kate Cunningham, both of those guys, of course. Kate in the NBA, and Wells has transferred to TCU. Tenth turnover. There, Talbot dribbles it off his foot. Cowboys have outscoring the Mavericks off turnovers 12 1 with a chance for more here. Anderson the dish and the layup is good for Moncrief. Another pretty play because Avery's been so dynamic offensively. He draws another defender and that allows Moncrief to go baseline right to the rim. 41 12 Cowboys. I guarantee you, Mike, that in that last timeout, boy, that's a nice little scoop shot by Young. Of uh, that last timeout, I think Mike Boynton got after his guys a little bit because there's been a little bit of a lapse defensively over the last two minutes prior to that timeout. It's hard to hard to justify that necessarily when you're leading this big, but it's gotten a little bit sloppy. They were so good for so long. Mavericks cannot convert on the turnover. And a travel called on the Cowboys. Tyreek Smith. Sixth turnover on Oklahoma State. Keelan Boone back in. I'll tell you what, the, the level of effort and intensity for the majority of this half has been off the charts for the Cowboys. Under a minute to go here in the first half. It's been all Oklahoma State. 14th meeting ever with the Mavericks. They lead that series 12 to 1, and here's Boone. And they're going to call an offensive foul. Heads up defensive play by uh, Hoiberg to get in position. And the Cowboys wanted to get 40 paint touches tonight. Defensively by Rondell Walker forced that miss. Shot clock turned off. Cowboys will call a timeout. Set up a play. Final 14.8 seconds of the first half. In a half court set, Mike, what you might look for. I think they, they it, 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 most everything is gone to plan for the Cowboys this half. But I think going in, they, they would have liked to have gotten it inside the CSA to play a little inside out early, but it's been so good otherwise, they haven't needed to. Anderson with the rock as we go under 10 seconds. Good pass. And the layup will drop. And the horn will sound on an impressive first 20 minutes for the Cowboys as they will head to the locker room on top. 43-14, let's check in with Jessica. I'm with Coach Mike Boynton, Coach. And it's off to a great start. And let's see if they can build off that first half. I don't know how much better they could be outside of about a two-minute stretch where they defense laps. 
but uh, that was really good. Cowboy basketball to start the second half and likely will bring it across the timeline. Likely alley -oop stop to start the second stanza for OSU. Boy, just lulled UTA to sleep and the beautiful back screen there. I think it was Donovan Williams that set it on KO, so there's no big man back at the rim. Azor. Watch how Mike is shading him so he can't go to his left. He's going to force him to his right. Baseline drive, shot clock at five, shot up and good for Castro. First basket of the night, I think, for him. And he is a scorer. He's played a lot of college basketball, too. Average almost 15 points and seven rebounds at Houston Baptist. Anderson, a rare miss tonight. Rebounded by Texas Arlington. It's off balance, shot that a little too quickly, and Mavericks have started that second half in zone. Good hands. Pass swatted away. Here comes Anderson. Bounce down low. Sousa gets the hands on it. Layup on go, but he gets it back. Turns and fires, and he'll go to the line. Good second effort. Great second effort, and again, he's the one that starts the turnover on the other end, and a big man gets rewarded. Of course, you go you go 6'10 against a couple of guys barely six feet tall, you're going to win that most of the time, and there it was again, the, the beautiful back pick, back screen by Donovan Williams that let Cissé get free to the rim. KO was late coming over, and the second effort on that play. Completes the three-point play. And John Cissé, a perfect three for three from the line tonight in double figures with 11. Boy, it's great to build early confidence from the line, too. Although, Mike, you know, there is a difference between shooting free throws in a game where you're up by 30 and when the game is tight with about three minutes to go. Absolutely. Especially in a lot of these Big 12 games that will be tight. Shot clock was winding down, last touched by the Mavs. It'll be Cowboy basketball. Ilame trying to get to the rim. Ended up off his leg, out of bounds. 12th turnover on the Mavericks. Let's see if they drop back into a man-to-man -man this time. It looks like they're still in zone, the 2-3. Good pass in the lane. Little baby hook for Musa. I, I want to say that K.O. might have got a piece of that, the way it looked like it was deflected. Defense on the other end, but they're going to whistle him for a foul. Isaac likely picks that up. Here's... Here's the hook inside. It's a, it's a nice pass inside, and K.O. can really get up. I think he did get a fingertip on it. it was soft enough that it went down. K.O., a guy that can touch the top of the backboard, was a walk-on, and they were going to redshirt him last year and decided with about 18 games left, let's put this guy in a COVID year. It's not going to matter. And Cowboys the break and the finish and continue to build the lead. Well, if this speeds up, this is going to be about a 50 point lead in no time. Walker the kick into the corner. Three point shot is good for Donovan Williams. And the Mavericks call timeout. Well, if it if it's fine. great to see that from the Memphis transfer Cowboys on a 10-0 run and incidentally their halftime lead of 29 was their largest in five seasons since leading the New Orleans privateers by 32 at the break in November of 16.
Josh Azor all the way back almost to midcourt. Tries to go back door, taken away. 13th turnover on the Mavericks. Anderson, tell you, finished by CSA. <laughs> My goodness, did he get up. And that was in a phone booth. And a block by the big fella. Two blocks in one sequence. Avery Anderson got the first one. But there's the defense again. Just good recognition. Isaac likely dropping back into a passing lane. And then Avery Anderson from the free throw line up to Cisse. And then Avery from behind blocks Levi. And then on the rebound, it's Cisse getting the block. Mavericks retain possession. But a big hill to climb as you take a look at the Cowboys, the big lead and running and gunning here in Stillwater tonight. Shot clock at six. Nice move by Castro. Well, he's got a smoothness to his game and his shot. He just hasn't been able to show it much. Three-pointer, short. Azor the board. Quick hands from Donovan. And Williams has it stripped. Gonna call a jump ball. As we reach the under 16 media timeout, it has been all Cowboys. They lead it big in the second half in Stillwater. There are a great many things that can be found on the road. Thing happened. I don't know if that was the total case last year, but it was the first game of the year on the road. And with all of the pandemic issues and not knowing that you were going to schedule, it was an afternoon game for the Cowboys. Uh, you can understand why they would get up for this one and almost a steal in the inbound by Rondell Walker. But here's what's impressive, too. You've made all nine of your free throws. We've talked about that with C save three for three, but you're nine for nine. And that's always a plus when you're playing as hard a full court game as you are to take care of the things that are a little bit less. There's no pace to them. You know, you just got to convert your opportunities. They've been able to do it. Field goal percentage defense by the Cowboys holding UT to 25 percent, just eight of 32 and 0 of 11 from three. will get a round of applause as he heads to the Cowboy bench. Bernard Kuma checks in for the Cowboys. Well, Big Bernie, as they call him, has really soft hands and started to play pretty well down the stretch last year, giving the Cowboys an option inside. You remember, they didn't have the shot-blocking presence outside of Caleb Boone, who, by the way, not available tonight, not available Friday, we don't think, but he says he should be back on, on Sunday, just dealing with a little bit of an injury. Kuma double-team, turns, tries to lay it in. Cowboys get the offensive board. Likely. Shot clock under 10 for the Cowboys. Three-pointer no good for Walker. Punched out to Likely. Likely drives and dishes. Reverse layup is good. For Moncrief. And what I liked about that possession, John, the Cowboys didn't force it. Showed a lot of patience. Sure did. And, you know, Bryce Thompson got in the lane. Nothing there. Azor knocks down that jumper. But also, the body control from Moncrief. 
The guy's set to take a charge, and he went straight up and just used that length to reach around on the other side for the reverse. First field goal of the night for Azor. He's one of seven from the field. Mavericks back in the zone. Likely from the wing. Three-point shot, no good. Didn't elevate much. Around and out on the three, and Puma with the rebound. Now, I should say, Isaac did set his feet, but just didn't get up enough, and the shot ended up being a little bit flat. Under 13 to go in the second half. Missed there, rebound Mavs. Azor step back. His second field goal, two straight for Azor. Now with five points on the night. Smooth move from the left-hander. And Bryce Thompson will call timeout for Oklahoma State with 12.31 to go here in the second half. Avery Anderson will check back in when play review. UMass Lowell and then some pretty pretty stiff competition with NC State Charleston and then ORU was fantastic last year. Yes, they were and have Max Acemus back. Their score, nation's leading score, and that UMass Lowell and North Carolina State games are up at the Mohegan Sun in Connecticut next week. And Bernie, big Bernie with the big basket. Crowd favorite. That timeout was really designed to, hey, let's get it inside this zone. Make something happen. Don't settle for over the top. Don't drive through a crowd. End of the one for seven round from the field for the Cowboys. Good pass. Good point pass. Kale with his first bucket. for the ball. And a kick. A kick is called. Well, M.A. Moncrief, again, the body control off the feet. Finds it likely looks underneath and in. Cowboys continuing this big opening night performance. surprises in those first oh, half a dozen teams? You could say Texas Tech only because they have a new coach in Mark Adams, but they still have a lot of talent back. You know, Kansas and Texas, you figured they would be one and two. They're both loaded up there. And Texas with Chris Beard moving from Texas Tech picked up some uh, big players in transfer portal. Cowboys turn it over. And a layup on the other end. Fast break points for Alame for UTA. You know, we did see Bob Huggins in a chance meeting Friday night, the night before the football game in Morgantown, and he said, I don't like my team. And uh, he said, you can't, can't shoot. A foul inside, Bernie will be at the line. Can't shoot, can't dribble, can't pass. There's not much else to be able to do. Of course, he'll have them playing pretty well yeah. about halfway through the little season. Sandbag, little sandbag in there, probably. UTA has made five of their last six shots. Kuma to the line. Cowboys still up 35. And the first miss from the line tonight for Oklahoma State. Cowboys set to check in for Kuma. The second. Tyreek Smith subs in. Tyreek only played about four and a half minutes the first half, but just you know the flow of the game depends sometimes. And this one was ooh, 
I, I, I think they, I don't think they're lying when they say he can touch the top of the backboard. And I started to say earlier, he finally got into the action with about 18 games left. Left had five game, five blocks his first appearance, seven is next, and ended up averaging three and a half. Would have been third in the nation if had he played enough games. Oh, and M.A. Moncrief, that's going to be wiped off. And Moncrief was saying he had to grab the rim because he was had somebody under him, but that's going to wipe off the basket by uh, Avery Anderson. Here's another look at this. Look how high K.O. gets up. Boy, he almost hit his chin on the, well, he had his chin on the bottom of the neck, looked like. So, uh, I don't know what that feels like. No, I mean, not without a ladder. One of the students behind us said, after that, said, transfer here. <laughs> Three-point shot up and good for Talbot. His first points of the night. They've been able to cut into this big cowboy lead a little bit. Four makes in a row. For the Mavericks. Now you got to have somebody inbounded. Keelan Boone will come over in front of us. Cowboys still have them doubled up, 62-31. More than midway through this second half. Cowboy has a strip. Keelan Boone grabbed the loose ball. Assist for Keelan, stuff for Moncrief. Eight points for M.A. tonight. Around and out from behind the arc. I think Talbot's make was their first made three. There you go. And Bryce Thompson answers. You're right, the make by Talbot from three was their first of the night. Kicks it into the corner, around and out. Good job on the boards by the Mavs. Falling away, that won't go. Rebound tapped out to the Cowboys, and here comes Thompson. Tyreek Smith came walking up to the free throw line. I think that Keelan Boone wanted to give it to him, but he wasn't in a position where he could grab it. Contact, but no whistle. Here comes Talbot. Job by Smith defensively not allowing him to get around him. Anderson dishes it off. KO with a block. But Moncrief with the put back for the Cowboys. That defensive level has dropped just a little bit from the first half. He was so aggressive. Just as I say that. Yeah. Bryce Thompson with a finish. Bryce now with nine. It's another good thing about this lineup, Mike. You, if you go ahead and key on one guy and get him slowed down, there's enough talent out here that they can make you pay. Cowboys on a 9-0 run. The 
lead up to 40. Doing it inside and outside. Bryce Thompson sets his feet, knocks down the three. And then on the break, Avery Anderson the steal, Bryce Thompson the finish. His voice is being heard. He is on the bench leading his team in every timeout. He goes and talks to each player individually. In fact, in some of the timeouts, he talks more than head coach Mike Boynton talks to the team. And Mike Boynton said before the game, he said, I feel comfortable with ice leading the entire break, the entire timeout. So he is confident in his leadership. And ice says, hey, I'm just an extension of Coach Mike. Coach Mike is teaching me, and I am teaching these guys. And with the season, with the NCAA fan and things like that, they need a leader like that on this team, guys. Thanks, Jessica. Out of the timeout, Moncrief finishes off the old-fashioned three-point play. Has a Baker's dozen. Cowboys on a 12-0 run. And they're going to call a foul on Woody Newton for the Cowboys. They just don't like it, but the problem was Woody got his body in front of him, but he put his hands out on Azor. Can't do that. Several years ago, Mike, they went to make that a point of emphasis, like they were allowing a hand check with one hand, but if you put both hands on a guy, it was an automatic whistle. And turn and delivery and a three-point opportunity for the Mavericks. Well, hook shot. Long been forgotten in the game. We've seen a couple of examples tonight. Cisse picks up the foul. That was pretty for Wilson. That time, the foul goes against the Mavericks as Wilson misses the end one opportunity. Foul on Cisse was his second. Mavericks applying a little bit of pressure in the backcourt. Donovan Williams across the timeline. Tom finds it. Alley oop it. And they're going to call a foul on the man. A little bit tall for Cisse. But it's a good thing that he was able to gather himself. Castro picks up the foul. Good thing he was able to gather himself because he could have been landing on an elbow or a hip on that right side. Three-point shot. Swatted out. Cowboys get it but have it stripped away. Good hustle by Rondell. Castro has it poked away. Newton kicks it out. Oh, he gets off the floor so quickly with the second bounce, Mike. That's impressive. Cisse leading the way for the Cowboys in scoring. Has 17 on 7 of 8 from the field here tonight. Mike, Mike the, the plays they've run for him have been a couple of alley-oops. Otherwise, they haven't really. I mean, he got the hook shot earlier this half. That's about the only other place where he's got the ball in the post. There's been a lot of opportunis opportunistic stuff. Thompson with a three. Williams rebounds the miss. No 
Bryce blocking Chubb. foul, yeah. Yeah, Bryce Thompson did quite get in front of him. I mean, it, if you wanted to make that call, you could make that call for maybe a little shove off on Azor. But Bryce was moving. Nobody in double figures for Memphis. Meanwhile, five Cowboys led by Cisse have reached double figures in scoring for Oklahoma State. Azor with a miss. Time out on the floor. Uh, Cowboys keep pouring it on. Musa Cisse kicking it back out. Bryce Thompson, his second three of the second half. Cowboys extend that lead back up to 79-33. Not necessarily as fast paced, but an open court game where he would have room to operate with a ball in his hands And the Cowboys just choked that off early And so he really hasn't been able to be a factor at all and credit the Cowboy defense for that Miss I see say 17 2 run over the last 535 for the Cowboys They lead it by 46. Now, the guys in, I mean, because you've got such a deep roster, you better maximize the most of the minutes that you have. Because you, at some point, that, that that will be, you would think it might be cut down a little bit. I don't know how deep Mike Point is going to want to go with a rotation once you get deep into the season. So this is when you're, you're trying to improve yourself in game situations, but also you're trying to impress your coach. Draws the contact. Young gets the foul. And you see a little bit there, Mike, about one of the things that Cisse is going to continue to work on. He's knocked off balance a little bit easier than, you know, say, if this was a Big 12 game and you've got, say, David McCormick from Kansas or something. He's, he's very athletic, very springy. This is the first free throw, but he's a little, as Mike Point will tell you, he's a little top heavy, and so that means he can get knocked off balance a little bit. You make that catch in traffic, you've got to have a nice wide base with those legs and strong so they can't knock you off balance. Misses both there. Shot fake by Azor. It drew Bryce Thompson out there. And he created the contact when Bryce wasn't set. Tyreek Smith comes in for Musa Cisse. And then they Moncrief back on the floor for Mike Boynton as well. And Donovan Williams will head to the Cowboy bench. Now I like the pace that Donovan Williams plays with, even when it got up and down there. You know, bringing one back out instead of forcing a break here. Foul called off the inbounds, shot up, and free throws coming up for Azor. Rondell Walker with a contact, and of course, if you can hear through our microphones, the students behind us, Oklahoma State has never fouled. Of course. Ever. Which is the way you want it. <laughs> Mavericks are three of eight from the free throw line tonight. Cowboys 11 of 15. Hoiberg back on. Well, they say that went off for the Cowboys.
three-point shot. Good. Well, Woody Newton got picked off by a hip thrown at just the right time by Rojas. Some range. I mean, I, I would guess that, that Syracuse in practice, you better make some from out there because she's not going to get any closer against the zone. Knocked out. It'll be Cowboy basketball. And you see, Oklahoma State pretty good when the pace gets up. 31 and 7. When you go 80 or more in a game. Where Rondell Walker comes off, feeling Boone back in. Walker is one of those guys, I mean, you're, you're leading by 45 points, and he's still going after steals on the perimeter. And again, that kind of effort, Mike, it rubs off on your teammates. When it goes back to, you want to see that so that all the guys when they get minutes because those minutes for some guys may dwindle as we get closer to big 12 play you want to see that effort from all 17 guys on the roster well you love seeing the hair on fire defensively in the first half when you just smothered you just smothered uta thompson creates his own shot and makes it he's got 14 for the cowboys Favorite about to check in. A couple of fan favorites. Arson Sager. That fouls on Tyreek Smith. Sager in church. M.A. Moncrief comes off, Bryce Thompson comes off, and M.A. encourages Sager and Church. Make the most of this last minute 25. For the shot. What did we just say about the effort? It's contagious. Tyreek Smith off the back heel, but Sager just hustles to the ball, and then he's going to challenge Rojas. And the foul's on Levi from behind. And you know Sager's older brother. Yeah. He is smiling. Yep. Sophomore from Ryder High School out of Wichita Falls. Christian Sager played for the Cowboys not that long ago. Of course, anymore, it all feels like it was within the last 15 months. Right. But it's been of several years. But Christian was known for his hustle play, too. And look at that form. It's like he's been in the gym working on that a little bit. Your shot you. there by Castro. Yeah, Castro. I love the release on his jump shot. He's got nine. Turnover. I set the screen for it. Yeah. Let him. Let him try to run it. Put back in a foul, so an and one opportunity for the Mavericks. I call it on church. It's one way to get on the stat sheet, right? Hey, I've been guilty of that way back when, too. <laughs> Antonio Romanelli, freshman from 
and down under checks in for Craig Young's club.